This is the independent practice for lesson or chapter four, lesson seven. So it's for four point seven. We're dividing fractions. Okay. Now we're gonna go with the keep change change. Um, this first one I'm gonna keep the one eighth, change the sign and change to the reciprocal there. Um, now I can cross simplify that or reduce I should say. Two divided by two is one. Eight divided by two is four. Now I go 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 1 is 4, my answer is 1 fourth. Number 2, keep that, change that, and change that. Okay, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 2 is 8, so it's 9 eighth, or it's 1 and 1 eighth, either way. Same thing. I guess I like the 1 and 1 eighth better. Okay, I'm going to make this into a fraction like that. So now I keep this, change the sign, and change the last one to the reciprocal. I see I can divide this by 3, divide that by 3. That gets me 1, that gets me 3. As long as I do the same thing to the top and the bottom, it's okay. 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 3 is 12. My answer is 1 twelfth. Next one, keep, change, change. 7 times 1 is 7, 6 times 4 is 24. I can't simplify those because 7 is prime and 7 doesn't go into 24. So the answer is 7 24 Excellent. Now, make that into a fraction. Keep that, change the sign, and reciprocal, change that. 1 over 8. Okay, 1 times 1 is 1. 8 times 3 is 24. My answer is 1 24th. Kind of cruising along with these. Hopefully you're seeing how I'm doing this and it makes sense to you. So I'm going to keep the first thing, change the sign, and change to the reciprocal on the that one, last number. So, I see that I could divide this by 3 and divide that by 3, doing the same to the top and the bottom. That becomes 1, that becomes 2. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 5 is 5. That's a fraction. That is my answer. 2 fifth. The next one has you do a story. You don't have to do a story, but you do have to solve it. 5 6 divided by 1 twelfth. I am going to keep this, 5, 6, change that, and change that. Now, I see that 6 and 12, I could divide each side by 6, and that gets me 1 here, and it gets me 2 here. 5 times 2 is 10, 1 times 1 is 1, so it is, the answer is 10. Okay. Let's look at this next one. We have uh, licorice something. A piece of licorice is to be cut into ten equal sized pieces if the length of the piece of the licorice is two thirds. So the length of the piece of licorice is two thirds. And I'm dividing it into ten equal pieces. How long will each piece be? So it's two thirds divided by ten. Make that into a fraction. So now it's keep that, change, and change. Okay, I'm going to divide each of these by 2, that gets me 1, that gets me 5, 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 5 is 15, 15 yards, that's how big each piece is going to be, 1 15th. Good, that's all I have you doing here, 1 through 8, hopefully you did well, if you have any questions let me know, or uh, go ahead and go on to the extra practice.